Hello, I'm Graham Pink and I'm a director of Comdronic Limited. In this short video, we're going to be seeing how we take a measurement using the AC6. So we're going to site, we've already looked at the valves we're going to be measuring on site and for this particular example we're going to be using a Crane D931PF and it's a three quarter inch. Now the PF stands for press fit and this is in a press fit system so we need to be careful when we're selecting the valve that we don't just choose a standard D931 but this is a D931PF slightly different flow characteristics, slightly different KVS. But it is stored within the AC6, so we can find it, pre-select it, and it will be ready for use. So we're at our valve, and we need to connect our hoses to the valve. So we take our hoses from our kit, and we can see that on one end we have isolating valves, and on the other end we don't. Which it doesn't matter which end you connect to the valve, it's your choice. I'm going to choose the plain ends and connect these to the valve. So for this particular exercise I'm going to use just the straight needle adapters which you'll find in your kit. There's also a set of angled adapters but for this exercise the straight needle adapters are perfectly fine. So we've fitted them to the hoses and we simply follow the instructions that are on the front of each AC6 machine. So the first instruction is connect the red and the blue hoses to the balancing valve. Now it's always wise to just lubricate the needles before we try and fit them through the rubbers and I have some soap solution here which I'm just going to put on the needles just to lubricate the needles to get a nice clean path through the rubbers in the test points. So if we remove the caps from the test points, before we fit the needles, we should make sure that the valves on the hoses are closed. Although the hoses themselves are self-sealing, this just makes sure that we've got a double seal here, the valve and the end, before we put the, put the hoses into a pressurised system. So, we'll fit the red one first, pass it in, feel it all the way home and then secure the test point with the threaded cap onto the valve. And the same with the blue. So the hoses are both connected now, securely onto the valve, and we're ready to go to the next stage. Take the AC6, and first of all, make sure that the equalizing valve on the side is fully open. And we're now going to attach the tubes to the AC6. So if we take the red hose first, and connect it to the high pressure port, and then the blue hose, and connect it to the low pressure port and we're ready to go. So we've connected the tubes with the valves closed, we're now going to open the valves on the unit to allow any air to purge through the system from the high pressure side to the low pressure side. Once that's completed, it might take a couple of minutes, but once that's completed and you can't hear any air moving, that's fine. We're then going to close those valves again and press the zero button on the unit. So the sensor is now at zero waiting to take a flow measurement reading or a differential pressure reading. We've zeroed it, open the valves again and then we close the equalizing valve on the side of the unit. And as we close it we'll see the differential pressure is rising and we have a differential pressure across the valve of 
5.35 kilopascals. And using the KVS for this valve, which is 4.9, that equates to a flow rate of 0.314 litres per second. If we're aiming for a lower flow rate than that, we obviously need to adjust the valve. So we close the valve slowly, watching the readings at all times, until we reach the flow rate that's required. Once we're at the flow rate that's required, we can then lock the valve into position and we've finished with this particular valve. So we can now open the equalizing valve, close the valves on the hoses, and we can disconnect from the system. Okay, so now we have achieved the desired flow rate. We're happy with that. We can lock the valve off and we can move on to the next valve. In order to do that, we need to safely disconnect the hoses. And before we do any disconnection of hoses, always ensure that the equalizing valve on the side of the AC6 is open. If you don't open this and you disconnect the hoses, there's a danger of overpressurizing the sensor and damaging the sensor. So the equalizing valve is open. We can now close the isolating valves on the hoses. and we're going to disconnect the hoses. Now we've had pressurized water in here, so there may be some water that just comes out when we disconnect the hoses. So just be careful. Little dribble there, little dribble there. And we can now disconnect the hoses from the system. And then refit the ceiling caps onto the valve. And once that's done, we can then move on to the next valve for commissioning. So hopefully today, with this short video, we've been able to show you how easy it is, simply by following the nine stages shown on the front of every AC6, how to connect, disconnect, take a differential pressure reading, and measure flow rate through a balancing valve. If you require any further technical information, we'd be more than happy to help and our contact details are on the screen. There is of course further information on our website for you to look at.